Welcome to the Fourier series solution for the square wave inverter. This is the same example I solved in the previous video using the conventional formulas for the square wave inverter. In this example, I will solve it using the Fourier series solution. So we are said that the input voltage is 100 volt while the load is 10 ohm and 25 milli Henry and the frequency is 50 hertz for the MOSFET switching. We are asked to find the Fourier series term for the load voltage as well as for the load currents and at the same time you are asked to find the load that absorbed some amount of power. So this is the square wave inverter wave form. So let's get started. The Fourier series term for voltage is equal to 4 VDC divided by n pi sin n omega naught t where n start from 1 to infinity while this will be just only the odd term like for example n will equal to 1 n will equal to 3 n will equal to 5 and so on so forth now so just put the vdc equal to 100 and write down the equation so vn is equal to 4 vdc divided by n pi this is only we are find out the amplitude of the Fourier series term for the voltages so it is equal to 4 times 100 divided by n pi Similarly, the current is equal to Vn divided by Zn, that is the impedance. So, In is equal to Vn divided by Zn, where Zn is equal to R square plus N omega naught L whole square uh, and we will take the square root of this. Now, just put its values, Vn is equal to 4 multiplied by 100 divided by N pi, put nom in the denominator and in denominator, we have R is equal to 10 and the frequency omega naught is equal to 2 pi f and f is 60 hertz while the inductive value is 25 milli Henry. So i n is equal to 4 multiplied by 100 divided by n pi whole divided by 10 square plus n into 2 pi f f is 60 into 0 0.025 square and we will take the square root of the denominator. So the third point is power. The power of n term is equal to i r m square into r where i rms is equal to i n divided by square root 2 and take the square of this into r right now we will put 1 3 5 and 7 in place of n and we'll find out its value so let's just draw the table so n start from 1 and it will the odd include the odd terms so 1 3 5 7 and 9 right and the frequency will multiply by this because it will just contain the odd harmonics so in so it is equal to 60 multiplying by 60 into 3 180 multiply 60 into 5 300 and so on so the power the voltage is come out to be just put here n equal to 1 3 5 and so on so the first harmonic voltage is 127.3 and the in the ninth term is equal to 14.1 voltage similarly the impedance is equal to 13.7 just put in equal to 1 then 30 then 48.2 and so on so the the current values is 9.27 1.42 and so on and the power is equal to using this formula put the multiple take the i n square up this and divide it by 2 so you will get uh, and multiply it in with r so the power for the first harmonic is 429.3 and so on now just add all its power so p is equal to summation of all power so it's come out to be 441 watt and that is exactly the same which we in which, which we calculate in the previous example using the conventional formula so it is clear that using fourier series you can also find out the power by uh, absorbed by the load so this was a simple tutorial that how you will use Fourier series to find out this amplitude of voltage and current of the load